here fast. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Big Boss here. Mr. Sinister, rock on. Hello all you CSD members. How would you like to have an AR-15 that has the color fill on it? Such as right Shiny. there. But you don't want to wait for someone to do it for you and pay for someone to do it for you. Because usually when you buy your lower receiver or your complete AR, pretty much comes up as bearer, such as this. Uh, except for the uh, Smith & Wessons. They would have that already done for you. But uh, when you purchase your lower receiver or AR-15 complete, pretty much will be bare like this. So today in this video, I want to talk about the materials and the paints that you would need and the procedure to have it done. So um, let's get on to it. Pretty much everything you need here. Or testers, some paint thinner, toothpicks, if need so, brake cleaner, and some all-purpose bedside napkins. There you go. Paper towel. Okay, first things first, what we want to do is clean up any possible oils left by the fingers because there are probably possibly a hundred hands that touch this receiver before it actually hit the uh, shelf God knows where they've been thank you and did this all over the place who knows maybe they scratched their ass and then did this so okay. we're gonna to, we're gonna use brake cleaner I like to use brake cleaner because it's an alcohol based and it will not leave any oils so what I want to do is go ahead spray a little bit over here and just do this now and see how quickly that dries off uh, and I mean paint just like that okay now I know you bought the lower receiver parts or the parts kit for your lower receiver and think why can't I just install the parts kit and then do the painting well you know what it just makes it easier you know with all the little switches think about it you got this little switch in the way and you don't want to bump this and you don't want to scratch that it just makes it easier so let's just put this out of the way and stick with the painting <laughs> have yourself the toothpick and what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the Smith & Wesson logo here and remember to give it a good shake Oh yes. What did they say? Two, sh two shakes. You're done. Three shakes. You're uh, having fun. There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and just dip that in there and just start filling it in. Now don't mind the excess because we'll take care of the excess. But what we want to do is just go ahead and put the paint in there in those those little grooves now during the process I kind of forgot to mention is that when you if you could find yourself a business card here you know, go ahead and just kind of angle it and start scraping some of it off any excess you know there you go see look at that now the color filling is starting to take place. Like I said, don't worry about the um, the excess here. I mean, that's what we have the paint thinner for. Okay. So I'm going to continue on this right here. Okay, now that we got the excess off with the business card, we're going to go ahead and start using the paint thinner. And the, the napkin here, or the the uh, blue paper towel here to wipe off uh, what's not needed on the surface so it can really show the engraving of the stamp uh, picture here I'm good no I'm not me I'm on this right here okay that's not water kitties okay here we go so it's gonna go ahead and pour ourselves a little bit over here 
you get a little cap. Just go ahead and just grab your net, your uh, towel here, and then start dabbing. Just dip your tip. Dip your tip. And lightly, we're going to go over the surface because you don't want to just push it in there. We're just going to lightly. Take off the excess here, as so, and it would really show the engraving. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is bad. This is what you call CSD badass. Okay. And remember, I am applying an eighth, not even a pound, uh, an eighth of a pound, 32 ounces of pressure. <laughs> 30 ounces. Now I'm going going off some topic here, but then I am not applying a much, um, any means of force on this. I'm just lightly just gliding this towel. Just rub the tip. That's um, all you gotta do. Basically, yeah. What he says. You don't have to go in too deep. Just nice and soft on the top. That's what she said. That's what she said. And it looks like I may have done a little too much, but I don't know if you can see that. Well, we'll let Punisher figure that out if, he, if that's how he, if you wouldn't mind that. But I'm just going to start going, going about like that and re redoing uh, this again with a towel. Very little. Just nice clean wipes. Just, you know, glide and stroke, glide and stroke. So that's what it's come down to. So this is complete. See how lovely that looks and the model MP15. Now I'm going to do the pretty much the safe and the fire on both sides. So you can see that right there. But yeah, that's how the process goes. And here we are, it's completed, including if you can see that the fire and the safe on both sides. Okay, well the fire is too dark, so and of course this is the end of the day segment because it's getting <laughs> it's getting dark. So here we are. Um the rat cat just gave me gave me a call and wants me to pick his ass up, so I gotta wrap everything up. But there you go. Uh, in about 10, 15, 20 minutes, uh, a little bit of cleaning, and going through the steps that I went through, and you will have yourself your own customized, fancy looking lower receiver to your AR 15. This is Big Boss here, and um, catch you all later.